This is Rap the News. According to the New Testament, every Christian who believes he is under grace and not under the law will end up in the fire of hell for eternity. According to the New Testament, every Christian who believes he is not under the law but under grace will be punished according to the law. And that is according to the New Testament. You got deceived. You're going to find out here, right here and now, that there are two Christ given orders. One is telling you what the Most High God stated, like all the rest of the prophets. And another is telling you he is God and you are not under the law, but under grace. Let's get into it. Romans 2.12, contemporary English version, so you can understand it clearly. Those people who do not know about God's law, which is Christians, will still be punished for what they do wrong. You will still get punished by the law. And the law will be used to judge everyone who knows what it states. The law is in the New Testament itself. It's written. The Ten Commandments is in there, even though they left out four. But the law is still in there. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt have no gods before me. Blah, 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 and so on and so forth. You know what the law is. You heard it. Man shall not live by bread alone. You shall worship and serve the Lord your God only. And, and, and that's what is written. Every time the New Testament says it is written, it is written in the law or the Torah. And that's where it got it from. Hebrews 10, 26. For if we sin willfully, what is sin? According to the New Testament in Matthew, sin is transgression of the law. After you have received the knowledge of the truth, which is the law, there remains no more sacrifices for your sins. Jesus did not die for your sins if you willfully sinning. Jesus didn't die for your sins at all. Christ crucified. The pretend God died. We're going to find this out. James 2.12. And we prove everything by scriptures. I'm just not talking. I'm proving. So speak ye. And so do as they that shall be judged by the law. Who is judged by the law? The Jews and the Hebrews, right? So speak according to the law and do according to the law. Just as they shall be judged by the law. The ones who are judged by the law. And the law will be used to judge everyone who knows what it says. And those who people who believe they are not under the law will still be punished for breaking the law. They'll still be punished for, or, for sinning willfully, for not being under the law, but under grace. You're going to get punished for it. Every verse here, New Testament, is telling you that you are going to get punished for breaking the law. You ain't getting around the law. Let's keep going. Romans 7.1 Know you not, brethren, you Christians, for I speak to them that know the law. That's in parentheses. How that the law has dominion over a man as long as he lives. What does that mean? That means that Christ did not come before God when God said, You shall have no gods before me, and Christ is God in the flesh. He is not the eternal God because he don't know the time and the hour. Neither does the eternal God die on crosses. So we know that he's a false God. You should have known that because God said there are no gods besides him. He know not any. How do you know a God? You know a false God. It's clear. It's clear. Romans 319. Now we know that whatever the law says, it says to those who are under the law so that every mouth shall be silenced and the whole world is held accountable. Listen. The whole world is held accountable to God because here's, here's what it says again. Whether you know the law or not, you're still getting punished for your sins. If you sin willfully, Jesus dying on the cross don't work for you. Just like we're going to get judged by the law, you shall be judged by the law. The law has dominion over you for as long as you live. You cannot get around the law. You got deceived by a false Christ taking you away from God and God's laws. 
which is God's words. No one can disobey God. It's just like Adam and Eve is in the garden. We can go all the way back to when the first law was given, thou shalt not eat from this tree. No one can come and tell Adam and Eve they are not under the law, but they are under grace. Anybody telling Adam and Eve that is the damn devil, Lucifer. Let's keep going. Jesus speaking, Luke 16, 17. It is easier for heaven and earth to pass than one title of the law, title title of the law to fail. That means God's words is not coming back empty like God said, stated. And all of his law is going to be fulfilled. God said it and it shall be done. It shall come to pass. First John 3, 4. Whosoever commits sin, which is sin, transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Let's go back up to it. For if you sin willfully, transgress the law willfully, not be under the law, but under grace. After you have received the knowledge of the truth, I just told you what it was. There remains no sacrifices for your sins. You go on to hell. So it states right up here. Those people who know not God's law will still get punished for their shit. You ain't getting out of it, Christians. You ain't getting out of it. It's easy for heaven and earth to pass in one title of the law to fail. You ain't getting out of it. Matthew one twenty one. the whole purpose of Jesus. And Mary shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from transgressing the law. Whoever commits sin transgresses also the law. He shall save his people from transgressing the law. The devil sinned from the beginning, so whoever sins is of the devil. Whoever is not under the law is the seed of Satan. And y'all can hear that clearly. You can't get around the damn law. First, I mean, John seven forty nine. But this people who know not the law, they are cursed. Now we know the book going to say some opposite in a minute. And you got to figure out which one you're going to believe here because in the Bible is a test. There is one Jesus Christ that is of Nazareth that was sent to this lost sheep of the, the house of Israel. His people, right there, his people, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, the Hebrews, who told you you was under the law and you ain't getting around God. And he came to stop his people from transgressing the law. He's telling you that these people who, will, who know not the law is cursed. Up above is telling you that these people, if you don't know the law or you do know the law, you still getting punished. You can't get around the law. Everything is telling you that the law has dominion over you for as long as you live. It's going to be another Christ to tell you that he died for all of this. Romans 2.13, for not the hearers of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. Let's get into the other one. Now I will show you how you got deceived by a false Christ, a.k.a. Lucifer, the devil, the bright morning star, the revelation, 12 God that fell from the stars. Galatians 5.4, and that God is what? Greek mythology. Christ is of no effect unto you, whosoever are justified by the law. Who is justified by the law? The doers of the law shall be justified by the law. Then Christ don't work for you. If you obey in this Christ, who said that these people who don't know the law is cursed. This Christ who came to save his people from transgressing the law. Now you got one that's saying that Christ is of no effect to you, whosoever are justified by the law. Didn't Christ come to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which is the Jews? Now he's saying, this Christ is of no effect to you? Something wrong. And y'all know it. So y'all, everybody want to follow this Christ. Oh, we ain't under the law. We don't have to obey. We can sin willfully. And that's all y'all in Christianity for. 
to sin willfully and not feel guilty. Y'all all going to hell. Y'all all, all going to get punished. Y'all can't escape. You ain't playing with, a, with God. God is not mocked. Whatever you sow, you shall reap. Again, whatever you sow, you shall reap. Romans 7, 4. Wherefore, my brethren, you are also are become dead to the law by the body of Christ. You got a Christ who came to stop the people from their sins, who told the people, sin no more. Why would he tell you that if when he came, the law is of no effect no more? Mm -hmm. You got another Christ right here. You got the Christ that all the Christians is following on. Huh? They don't even want to hear the Christ to tell you that they were under the law, huh? Because they sinners, huh? In need of a savior, huh? But Christ came to save you from what? From transgressing the law. The people who transgress in the law and don't know it is cursed. You can't be just hearers of the law. You got to be doers of the law. And they telling you what right here? The opposite. You are become dead to the law by the body of Christ. Christ is of no effect to you, whoever justified by the law. Romans 8, 3. God sent in his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. It ain't the eternal God. Not as Lucifer. Because God don't have nothing to do with transgressing his own laws when he tells you to keep the commandments. The, the commandments is eternal. When he tells you to bind the commandments to your heart. When he tells you that you should follow these commandments for as long as you live. When he tells you to keep the Sabbath, keep the commandments. God ain't never told you to go against himself. But now somebody is lying. Saying God sent his own son to go against him to be in sinful flesh. When God is dealing in the spirit, not in the flesh. Y'all bought a false God. Ephesians 2.15, Christ having abolished in his flesh even the laws of God's commandments. Nothing abolishes heaven and earth. Let's go back over to it. It is easier for heaven and earth to pass than one tittle of the law to fail. How can some come down and abolish the law in his flesh? In sinful flesh. You dealing with the devil. For Christ, for God has made Christ to be sin for us. God made Christ. Let's, let's listen to what this really means. Sin is transgression of the law. The law is the words of God. God made Christ to go against him for you. God made Christ to disobey him for you. When Jesus speaks that says, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear from God, that, that's what I do. I can only do what I hear from God. So why would God then turn around and send his son to transgress against his own self. That's the devil. And y'all know it. Galatians 3.13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us. All those who are without the law. Let's go back up to it. But this people who know not the law are cursed. Everybody who don't do the law will be punished and destroyed. When the Gentiles sin, Google it, they will be destroyed. Now you got somebody who inviting you to sin. I wonder who that would be. Satan. You got, you, you got somebody coming in sinful flesh. I wonder who that could be. Satan. You got somebody lying and deceiving saying that God sent me to go against him. Satan. And you are dead in your sins. And you are dead in your sins. And you with Christ is dead in your sins. And the uncircumcision of your flesh has he quickened together with him. You going to hell with your fake Christ. 
Romans 6, 4. Therefore, we are buried with him by the baptism into death. So when they dip you in the water and, and, and you become a new man, that new man is somebody who is eternally going to the fucking fire. You don't understand what you're doing. You are being baptized into death. You are dead in your sins. You are dead because you are together with him. Y'all ignorant. Romans 10, 4, for Christ is the end of the law, but he just told you it is easier for heaven and earth to pass than one tittle of the law to fail. God's words is not coming back empty. As God said, it shall happen. It shall come to pass. Mark 12, 27. God is not the God of the dead. Then how are you dead in the baptism of death? He is the God of the living. You therefore do greatly err. So we'll say it again. Let's go to it. The law, according to the New Testament, has dominion over a man for as long as he lives. We got the New Testament going against itself. We're going to go back to it again. And Mary brought forth Jesus to do what? Save his people from sinning, transgressing the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. And everyone who sins... The people who do not know about God's law will still be punished. Everybody who sins willfully, no more sacrifice for your sins, and the law will be used to judge everyone who knows what it is. What is what is the law? The law is it is the commandments, it's the Torah, and what is sin? Sin is transgression of that. You are under the law, and you are not under any grace. You will be judged by your works. And God says, I will uh, punish you accordingly to your wickedness or your righteousness. You are wicked when you are worshiping and serving Jesus Christ. Talking about Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. There is no partners with God. God said there is no God beside him. God said there is none beside him. God said there is none that can deliver out of his hand. That is the law. God said, make not gods with me. And that's what y'all did. And that's called idolatry. And he said, Google it. How can I pardon thee for this? Y'all going to hell. This is Raptor News.